It's on. Okay, May she's on. So my wife will fix it all up. Okay, so Be'ezrat Hashem, Na'aseh V'Natzliach, V'Hashem Alenu Berachama V'Yarviach. I just, before we start the Sha'ur, today the refreshment will be sponsored by our friend Eli Cohen. And the main reason that he sponsored it, because today is the Yotzeit of the Baba Sali. I don't know how many of you heard about him. You hear about him. Good. The Baba Sali, it's Rabbi Israel Abu Hatzera. He born in Morocco 129 years ago. And he was one of the greatest Kabbalistic rabbi that lived in Israel. He actually lived in Netivot, in the south of Israel. And today is your side. I, will, I would like to mention one of the great story amongst the thousands, hundreds of thousands miracles that he performed. It was Rosh Chodesh, and a rabbi from America arrived in its doorstep and asked him, can you see the rabbi? He asked his son. And that story I heard from the grandson. As a matter of fact, I have the video. And the grandson said that his father opened the door, and in the door was standing a great rabbi, and that great rabbi was from America. And he asked to see the tzaddik. But because the tzaddik was resting, they said, look, the tzaddik is at the moment resting. Can you come later? It's not, he's not available at the moment. Would you mind coming later? What can the rabbi say, the American rabbi? You have no problem. But before he even left, the, great, the, the son been, heard, a, heard a noise. And immediately the Baba Sali, Rabbi Israel Abu Hatira, was there, and he said, who's there? And I said, it's a rabbi from America. Please bring him in, bring him in. A rabbi came, bring him in. Let them join us for the meal of Rosh Chodesh. And just to let you know, I don't know how many of you know, one of the greatest performance of the Baba Sali was with the Arak. In English, we call it Inish, am I right? How you call Arak Inish? It's a, it's a licorice alcoholic. And he said to the rabbi, come join us for the meal of Rosh Chodesh meal. And believe it or not, he, he let that rabbi drink. And they was talking, and we see that the rabbi can't open his heart. One bottle, second bottle, the third bottle. And suddenly the American rabbi burst up crying. And he said, Rabbi, I have a problem. I have a major problem. My daughter is eight months pregnant. And the doctor told us that there's a danger to her life and the baby's life. Please, I'm asking you to daven to the Almighty. Please. They're not sure if they can perform the operation. The Baba Sali looked at him put his hand on the table like this, nod his head, and for 10 minutes, he doesn't say a word. Suddenly he lift up, after 10 minutes he lift up his head, and he said to him, Mazal Tov, Mazal Tov. He said, you have a twin, your daughter have a twin, and your daughter's well, and the twin is well, nothing wrong. Anyway, another few minutes, they sit, the bench, then the benching, and then that great rabbi, the American rabbi, asked, listen, it's time for Minha, can I go and daven Minha? When he left, while he was leaving, the Baba Sali said to his son, he's not going to daven Minha, he's going straight to the post office to phone America to see if what I say is true. But never mind. Half an hour later, a knock on the door, the rabbi from America with a smile from here to his ears. Rabbi, I have twins. Rabbi, they're well. My daughter's well. Mazel tov, mazel tov. The Baba Sali looked at him and looked at the watch. He said, don't forget to daven minha. <laughs> Do you understand? So from here we see that he have Ruach HaKodesh. What was the Ruach HaKodesh? Number one, that he knew that he have twin. Number two, that they're well. Number three, that the daughter's well. 
and number four that he didn't daven minha. So now we know who's the greatest tzaddik. Okay, so 